most of that came from my experience of working with a catastrophe team. We traveled the world cleaning up major disasters, which uh, we're getting ready to head out on the road again uh, to the Carolinas after uh, Florence decides to take out a couple of our states probably. Hopefully not. It's looking like it's going to be pretty bad. So I'm glad I'm presenting this Monday and not next Monday because then I'd have to cancel the game. So we never know what we're going to do when we're going to be doing it. So it all depends on Mother Nature when she decides to do what she wants to do. Um, but one of the things that I found really helpful in my company, um, the first day that I took over, well, let me back up a little bit. I had the privilege of being an undercover employee uh, before I purchased, which was kind of awesome uh, that the, the owner at that time allowed me to uh, work for him and pay me uh, to sit with each of the employees. So just like undercover boss, that's, that's what I had the opportunity to do. So I got to sit with everybody. Oh my goodness, did I hear some stories. <laughs> and, and it was like, I mean, there was crying and fighting and screaming and yelling every day. And I just said, man, this is not something I'm going to deal with. Um, we already work in a chaotic environment most of the time. Um, we don't need to make it any more stressful. That's kind of my mindset. <clears throat> so after I did finally weed out some people and get some new people in, uh, one of the tools we used was uh, Dr. Robert Rome's DISC, uh, which is basically personality profiling. Uh, I tell you what, you talk about having your company turn around overnight. It, it happened pretty quick. Uh, I had a few 15-year uh, veterans with us. Took them a little bit longer. Um, hard to train. What is that old dog? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why are you looking at me? I'm going to look right at you. If there was a mirror, I'd be looking at you. <laughs> I know I have habits that I, I'm not going to change. So, <laughs> but anyway, but, um, but life has life has structure. Life has uh, anything we do in life. There's a system for it. Uh, anywhere from looking at the Bible to oh, here we go, Divergent. How many of y'all seen that movie Divergent? Okay. Mm -hmm. How many factions were in there? Four plus the factions, right? Okay. Uh, Harry Potter's. See that? How many? How many school of magic? Right. There's four, right? And then the outcasts, uh, or the moguls, I guess. Um, well, Doctor Ivan Rome says it's that simple. We we categorize everybody in the world based on four. I don't know what to call them factions. What do we call them? Uh, personality types. Okay. And so it's pretty darn simple. However, getting to know those, uh, if you don't know it, you don't know how to utilize it, right? So I know you guys are eating, but we're going we're gonna to do a quick little, um, I don't know, uh, tip, food, practice. Don't do anything with these yet. Uh, if you don't have a pen, let me know. Uh, I've got about 10 of them up here. So. The system is very simple to learn, and we're going to show you how simple it is. It's actually a, a two-hour course, but I'm going to teach, teach you in about half an hour. Sorry, skip through quite a few of these because we're not doing this actual one here. <clears throat> okay, so real 
simple. This is uh, 60 seconds. What we're going to do, okay, it's real simple. What I want you to do is I want you to start with number one. <laughs> Not yet. Don't look at your papers yet. Look at me. Start with number one. You're going to circle it, and you're going to go consecutively for as high, high as you can in 60 seconds. So one, circle it. Two, circle it. Three, right? Simple, easy. Okay. Don't put a check mark. Don't put an X. Don't put a slash. You got to circle it. Okay. So we're going to do 60 seconds. <coughs> get to my stopwatch here. All right. Yeah. 60 seconds. Just go through and circle as many as you can, starting with number one. Ready? Go. <laughs> Forty seconds left. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. y'all got five or more numbers circled? Raise your hand. Okay. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. No oh, hands dropping. I don't count. <laughs> okay. Twenty-five. start to show you a pattern here. Okay? What do you notice on the left and the right of that line? Odds and evens. Even and odds. Mm -hmm. Okay? Well, if you look about halfway down on the left side, you'll see that same tick mark. And if you mm. look over to the right side, you'll see the same thing. So we want you to draw a line there. Now, do y'all notice a pattern here as far as where the numbers are? You'll see that, I don't think this works on the screen. No, it doesn't. Um, but you'll see one is up in the top left. And you cross over to two, three, four, and then back up where your one is, five, six, seven, eight. So it's almost what, a Z, backwards Z? Or a figure eight, almost, okay? So now you're seeing a pattern, right? So what we're gonna do now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to give you the same 60 seconds. We're going to do the same thing, but instead of a circle, you're going to put an X over the number, starting at number one. Okay? Everyone, everyone understand that? Okay. So, start at one. X is, go as far as you can this time. 60 seconds. Ready? Go. Thirty seconds left. <clears throat> Twenty. Ten seconds. 
five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. How many of y'all did better than last time? <laughs> Everyone, right? Not only did you get all the numbers that you previously did, you probably did, what, three, four, 10, 15, 20 more? Okay, so that's a pattern. And so all we're gonna do is talk about people's personalities and kind of structure them up the same way. If you open up your little sheets that I handed out, there's a place where you can take notes. Now I know this is a kind of a lunch thing, so sorry to make you take notes, but I want you to be able to take something with you. And uh, this is something we use very heavily in our company. Um, one, we use it before we hire anybody. And the reason we do that is we want to make sure the person's going to be a right fit for us. I also want to make sure I'm putting them in the right position. Because no matter how much I might like somebody, I can't take an eye and put them behind the desk doing my accounting. Okay? Not to say anything bad about them, but that's just not their area of strength. Okay? It'll be miserable for them, and I'll have a lot of redos. I have a lot of fixing to do, okay? So um, that's the main reason what we do. The other reason we do this is because if I understand who my customer is, now I can change the way that I communicate with them so that I have a better chance of closing that sale or just getting along. With it. Um, and not to mention this will, this helps me and my wife tremendously. Um, it's not gonna mean much right now, but I'm a D. And my wife is a C. So I'm fast going, fast moving, quick, 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 on the go. And she has a process that she has to go through. She has more filters than I do. And she has to hit all those filters. And so we would always butt heads. It would be as simple as something that, hey, two plus two is four, right? And I would expect a normal, yeah, but not with a C. She has to go through her filters. So I've learned to better communicate with my wife, which is also my accounts receivable, HR, and accounts payable person, so that's a good thing. <laughs> so, um, uh, okay, we did this, okay, and y'all did more. <clears throat> okay, so, how do I use this in my everyday life? Well, you got to know the answer to two questions. One. Do you think this person is more outgoing or more reserved? That's something pretty simple. We can look at ourselves and find that out, right? If I were to ask you guys, how many in here think they are more outgoing than reserved? Right here. A couple of you. All right. Now, if I were to ask you the same question, but are you more reserved, raise your hand. Yeah, that's why we're quiet. Um, okay, so it's real simple. So you can actually, well, just remember that. Well, the next question I want to know is, well, let's go through this right here. So outgoing people tend to speak and move at high levels of energy. Even their gestures and facial expressions have more blank, more passion than the reserved individuals. Reserved people tend to speak more quietly, less forcefully. Their gestures and facial expressions seem more guarded than the expressions of outgoing individuals. Okay? Uh, okay. Now, the next part. You've got to remember what you did the first time. So, if I'm trying to find out who my customer is, I'm trying to think to myself, is this person more task-oriented or are they more people-oriented? And for you guys in here, if I would ask you the same question, how many people would say you are more task oriented? Good, good. And those of you who are more people oriented? Um, okay, so good. Task oriented people tend to be focused more on the job. Uh, and getting the goal accomplished. They seem to be less influenced by the opinion of others, and they are more logically based in their approach. People-oriented individuals tend to enjoy the company of others and seem to focus on people as being the priority than the project at hand, okay? They seem to be more influenced by the opinions of others 
and less factual based. Nothing in here is good or bad or right or wrong. It's just to show us how different we are. And it's broken out into four categories. This right here. So if you are outgoing and task reserved or task oriented, you're going to be a D. If you are outgoing and people, then you're going to be an I. Now, if you are reserved and task oriented, that's where your C comes in. And then reserved and people oriented, be where your S is. Well, that's all good and dandy, but what does that mean, right? Okay. Right here, uh, if you look in the upper left-hand corner of your page, we're going to talk about the Ds right quick. Why? Because I'm a D and we like to go first. Like <laughs> so that's what we're going to talk about. So these are dominant. Okay? They are direct. And you're more than welcome to write them down. And anytime you guys want to go through this, I teach these classes for free as long as you pay for the materials. Okay? That's my way of getting better at what I do. So it's also a value-added service we provide for our customers. Okay? So D, dominant, direct, demanding, decisive, determined, doers. Okay? Director, dogmatic, dreamer, diligent, dynamic. And the last one, if you're taking notes, the last one that you write, you don't have to write them all, just pick the ones that maybe pertain to you or these, these are going to be a little bit different than your sheet. Um, the last one we put on there, defiant. It's not that we're intentionally defi defiant, because we're not. We just like to debate. We just want to know that we're right. Okay? So we may come across to the I's, the S's, and the C's as being defiant. But in our mind, we're not. We're just trying to carry on a good debate and make sure we get to the bottom of it and find out is, are we really right? Now, we always want to be right, so we're going to put a pretty hard stance on, on our, uh, our topic, okay? <clears throat> so, these. Ah, uh, man. What, of all the people in this world, how 